tax represents all my island people say We people celebrating only from my homeland Like my old man say, there's nothing impossible So we have to bring this message to my brother Lyrical Straight from the crew, out to the blue We represent the voices of my ancestors calling And I was getting more than my culture is falling Now we have a step up for the past when it's calling Now we have a step up nobody gonna stop us Previously on Delos, we found the perfect beach to celebrate one of the best birthdays I have ever had. After a month in the outer islands, we were running seriously low on food, and Nina Pants had a scheduled flight back to Kiwiland. So we picked up the hook and set sail for Sarong, which has been described to us by a fellow sailor as singularly unattractive. So our expectations weren't high. We had a nice steady southeasterly breeze and even caught our first fish in Asia, or more like a half a fish. We're having real. Well, we lost half of our wahoo, the shark teeth marks, and half the fish is gone. Yeah. Those teeth marks just cut right through there. Look at that, cut right through the spine. So we'll just eat the front half. Still all right size though. Yeah. Hi, Ronnie. The wind stayed strong, and after an overnight sail, we made it to Sarong. We arrived in the early morning, just in time for Nina to catch her flight back to New Zealand. What an amazing five weeks. We'll miss you, Hurricane. Enjoy life back in civilization. The next day, some local teenagers came for a visit. We tossed them a few old t-shirts. And Brady wasted no time trying out the local transportation. Brady managed to run out of gas, so it was a little bit of a paddle back. Pretty to drive, man. Yeah. No more benzene. Sweet ride, though. So we're in Sarong, and we're about to go supermarket shopping to provision for the boat because we're really low on food and fresh fruit and stuff. Dallas is anchored just around the bay there. Here we are on the trusty dock. This is our landing point. So, uh, keep a wee step. Let's see how we do. This thing could fall in at any second. It's a shame, like, beautiful island, but there's rubbish everywhere. And the whole place smells like hot, rotten garbage. Hot garbage. Hot garbage. It's a nice walk in the air. Ugh. No, it's okay. <laughs> what is it? Woo! So we're at the Saga supermarket in Sarong. We have a huge list and tiny shopping carts. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a good one. Avocados. Oh. We got too cocky with provisioning in Australia, so we thought we'd find more fresh veggies than we actually did. So we're getting a cart full of canned veggies. Hi. 
have the shopping go? Pretty intense. He wants to be any other language, so. He looks like he's getting us a, a car now. The driver for us to take us back to the boat. Okay. Sweet. The store manager was the only English speaking person in the whole place. For some reason, she took a liking to us and lent us her truck and a few helpers to carry the load. We got the feeling that not many people roll out of her store with seven cartloads. Yeah, Delo Smaggy here. Uh, grocery mission successful, ready for a pickup at the ghetto here. I'll be right there. See you. Delos Mobile standing by on one side. That seemed to work out a lot better than we expected. We've got our own personal carriers and driver to bring us to the crazy dock. I just hope the dock doesn't collapse with all the food. With a sketchy anchorage and an unsafe dinghy dock, I was the dedicated boat watcher, while the rest of the crew did the shopping. Seven shopping carts later, we had enough food to last us for at least another month. So, uh, we just got boarded by some guys, 4.30 in the morning, and Yasha heard something. There was some guy's face kind of looking into the, into the bow and jumped up and just started fucking screaming as loud as I could at him. Jumped in his boat. It's probably one of the scariest things that can happen cruising is your home. You know, it's just like your home being invaded for somebody to climb on deck and try and take something. It didn't seem like they, they had violent intentions or anything. It was just probably more of a opportunistic the bow is dark, there's no lights up there, and they're probably looking to get whatever they could out of anything storage up there. But, it's cruising, we'll just do night watches for the rest of the time we're here. Yeah, it's the second time it's happened to us. It came out a lot better this time. First time was in Solomon's, and we learned from that, so like, whenever we're in a anchorage that we feel even a little sketchier, it's kind of crowded, and we always lock the boat up. Now we used to leave things open, but now all the hatches are locked from the inside and we keep the door closed and locked. But now that we know there's people out here that kind of want to mess, mess with us or take something from the boat, then night watch as it is, which kind of sucks, but... At least we can sleep, peace, you know? Yeah, like at least then the other people will be able to sleep good. It's really hard to sleep when... Usually it's enough just if the boat gets close just to shine a light on them and they fuck off. We were all jacked up and there was no way we could sleep now. We spent the rest of the night sitting up, drinking tea and rehashing what had just happened. We all just felt so violated and crept out that just a few hours before, there was an unwelcome intruder on Delos, prowling around, peeking into hatches. We didn't find out until the next day that he had also been in the cockpit to steal our VHF radio and also my shoes that I've had since I was a teenager. What a bastard! So night watches it is. What are you doing? <laughs> Trying to 
to find our thieves. Whoa, that's a pretty serious light. I know. Blind them. And then what? And then I'm gonna blow the air horn in their ear. Whoa. <laughs> and then what are you gonna do? And then you're gonna give them tetanus with one of these rusty machetes. <laughs> You're not gonna stab anybody. It's a nice night though. It's calm. Except that it's raining. And there's pirates lurking. The first night watch of the night is almost finished. And so far, we're safe. I haven't seen any fishy activities. Night watch log. It's about 3.20, 3.30 in the morning. Haven't seen much. A couple of boats coming by. There's a guy over here that's been fishing, it looks like, but all you gotta do is blast him with a spotlight and then he'll know you're watching him. There you are. Gotcha, bitch. It's about 4.30 in the morning. This is pretty much prime pirate hour. If anything's gonna go down, it's gonna be now. But you sit here in the dark, just wondering what you would do if you saw somebody that came up the boat and they didn't go away. Yeah, I don't know. Just kinda, just kinda run through all these things in your head and don't really know what you'll do when that actually happens. You just keep on going there, dude. With four people on board, we only had to do three hours each, which helped us get some sleep. The night watches really did work. We had a few inquisitive boats wander up to us, but a quick shine with the spotlight scared them off, and we had no more troubles. With all our shores finished, the last remaining thing was to get our new crew, Phoebe, Yosha's sister, from the airport. So tell us how you feel. We are finally leaving Sorong. What a mission, huh? Groceries, provisions, vegetables, fruit, gas for the dinghy, diesel for the boat. What else do we get? A lot of stuff. New crew member, dropped one crew member off. Got robbed. And now we're going back to the islands of Raja Ampat, so I'm stoked about that. <laughs> well, let's leave, bro. Let's get the hook up. Yeah. Pick them up, man. sailing, babe? Woohoo! <laughs> let's go. I'm ready. Let's do it. Next up, Delos gets lost in Rasha Ampat. Takes a sweet shortcut and gets sick.
what's in this little roll, but it's pretty good. Yeah. Some sort of meat. Yeah, I asked her and she said, I don't know. Half of your t-shirt is really fucking sweaty. That's the hot side <laughs> where all the sweat comes out. <laughs> the other half is This dry. is the cool side that doesn't sit in the sun, except for there, where it's always hot and sweaty. <laughs> Yep. Yeah.